The European Union has expressed its disappointment in the sacking of Somali Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi. Joseph Borrell is the Vice President of the EU High Representative to Somalia. He wrote, Regrettably, the developments in the House of the People of Somalia on Saturday represent a setback for Somalia and for the confidence of the European Union in the progress of Somalia. The procedures under which a motion of no confidence in the Cabinet was passed did not meet minimal constitutional requirements. The vote took place just a day after federal member state leaders met with Kairi and President Mohamed Farmajo. An agreement was reached to hold elections this year with no mandate extension. A technical committee was to come back with recommendations on modalities as all sides couldn't agree on a format for the balloting. Farmajo and his allies in the legislature as well as international partners, have been pushing for one person, one vote polling. The FMS leaders have recommended indirect elections, citing the short amount of time to organize them. Kyrie was seen as siding with state leaders, some said in a bid to secure the presidency. The U.S. government also expressed its regret at the removal of the prime minister. A statement was issued by the U.S. Embassy in Mogadishu. This irregular process is a setback for the reform agenda Somalia has pursued with the support of the United States. Somalia's stability, security and prosperity can only be built through cooperation, coordination and compromise among Somalia's leaders. If any individual or institution seeks to dominate the others, it undermines the stability of the entire nation. Somali government pushed back on international partners, telling them to respect its sovereignty and decisions. And <laughs> Farmajo appointed Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Mohamed Gouled as Interim Prime Minister. Gouled met with Cabinet Minister Sunday as he assumed his duties. Himilo Party leader Ilyas Ali Hassan has proposed that Gouled serve out the rest of the government's term. Khairi, for his part, has stayed away from the controversy, posting a statement online Sunday. كرتيي هفنان أنا جوا من سن إن أهيد واجب دلكي يدكي كسر مدرس حكومة دا إيه أنا جوا وحنكو جولي سني هولا ووي وحكم إذا ها إن ندب هبين بلارن أو دخل جلها كسمعنا إذا ما تقرن كا ومان تسو جاري مال أي وديار سيهين إن لو ريجان أمني جودة دلك Puntland President Abdullahi Saeed Denny has accused Formaggio of trying to derail the political process. Denny and Jubaland President Ahmed Modobi have been the strongest critics of the federal president. The international power struggle between Formaggio and the state leaders is likely to come to a climax when the technical committee comes back with its recommendations. In the meantime, international pressure will likely continue. The last line of the EU statement indicated serious consequences could follow, with Burrell writing, These actions entail a serious disrespect for the constitutional foundations of Somalia on which the European Union has been investing. In the end, international investment is a very strong incentive for cooperation.